how I would start my fitness journey if I had to start again from scratch. The very first thing I'd do is I'd have a set goal. So think of a goal that you're trying to achieve first as that will determine what to do next. Are you trying to burn fat? Are you trying to build muscle? Or are you just trying to be more active? Think truly about what is it you want to achieve and then set a goal. Now when you set a goal, it's important to make sure you set a realistic goal and not just set something that you know deep down you're not going to achieve. Because if you set something that's too challenging, you're um, likely going to give up the moment you fall behind. Uh, if you set yourself something that's too easy, it may not really encourage you to go and take action. So set yourself a goal that's going to challenge you, but is also realistic in terms of can you achieve it. So a good starting point is to look at smart goal setting. Um, so a smart goal is a specific goal measurable, achievable, realistic and time-based goal. So it has to hit those five credentials uh, to be considered a SMART goal. A good example would be a goal of losing five kilograms of weight in eight weeks. Five kilograms of weight loss is um, specific. You can measure it. Um, it's realistic and achievable, but there's also a time element involved as well. So you haven't just said I want to lose five kilograms, but you've also given yourself a time frame of when you would like to achieve it. The second thing I'd do is I'd have a proper plan put together. So depending on what your actual goal is will depend on the plan that you need to follow. So if you're trying to lose five kilograms in eight weeks time, then you need a plan that's going to allow you to get in the, into a calorie deficit because that's going to help you lose the weight. But you also need a plan that's going to allow you to be in that calorie deficit for a sustained period of time. Now, if your goal is more to do with fat loss as opposed to just weight loss, it's very, very, very likely that your program uh, that you need to follow is going to not only get you in a calorie deficit, but it's also going to maximize your muscle as that is how we get fat loss and not just weight loss. So again, it's important that you have the goal set first, uh, but once you've got that goal, you then need to get a plan of action that's going to help you achieve the goal. So the third thing I'll do is I'd follow the program for six weeks minimum. And the reason I say that is because Getting results is a combination of doing the right thing, but also doing the right thing for a period of time. So there has to be an element of consistency here. So sometimes it's not always about having the best program that's going to produce the most amazing results, because often that program is too hard to stick to for the average person. Um, whereas sometimes just having a very basic program um, you know, that produces okay results is far easier to stick to long term. So whatever the goal you've set and whatever the plan you've put in place, just make sure it's something that you truly believe you can stick to for six weeks. Now, the fourth thing I do is I keep myself accountable. And this is where most people mess up. And it goes directly back to my last point of being consistent. You must follow the plan for a minimum of six weeks. This is the start of your fitness journey. What sort of mindset are you creating if you give up the moment it gets tough? So again, you have to be consistent, but you it's up to you to keep yourself accountable. No one else can do this. A good way of keeping yourself accountable is to know why you're doing it in the first place. And a constant daily reminder of that why is really going to help in those first six weeks. The last thing I would do is I would hire the expertise I need when necessary. I'm saying this because it is true that hiring the right expertise can be extremely beneficial when it comes to achieving your goal. The right coach will know exactly what's required to make progress and will save you the aggravation of doing the wrong thing. Simply put, do you want someone to help you or do you want to go at this alone? Either is fine, just understand that if you go at it alone and you get things wrong, you'll have to learn from that, but that is going to take more time. Whereas if you get a coach, they can save you from doing the wrong thing and they can always point you in the right direction to get the quickest and the most effective results. 
So these are the five steps that I would do if I were to start my fitness journey from scratch. If you would like to start your fitness journey, drop a comment below saying start and I'm going to send you something very special that's going to help you get through that first step. I'm going to send you my very own goal setting worksheet that I use with my own clients. That's all for now everybody, take care.